Yep, you read that right. Today we are traveling to Argentina to talk about all the glorious dulce de leche and other sweet treats that they have available over there. So let's go see what it's all about. This is an exciting video for me because I started talking to the owner of this business years ago and they were one of the first supporters of the channel and we've become pretty good friends since then. And I'm really excited to say that they have opened their own ice cream shop, which is amazing. It is in Veracruz in Mexico. I'm gonna put a nice little map on the screen and pinpoint exactly where it is so you can head over there and try some of their glorious Argentinian gelato. Now, before we dive deep into this, I wanted to point out that this is a new service that Polar Ice Creamery is offering. If you want me to advertise your ice cream scoop shop, van, whatever it is, even your, just your brand, then head over to polaricecreamery.com, click on the contact us page, and let's discuss what it is you need. But for now, this video is all about Jello Helado. So first things first, let's talk about the name. Jello Helado. Jello is a combination word of gelato, which is obviously Italian for ice cream, and hello. So that gives us jello. And then helado is silent H if you don't speak Spanish. I don't, had to ask. Um, that is ice cream. That's what that means. So we've got a nice little combination. And one of the big things in Argentina is dulce de leche. It's very different to the dulce de leche you buy in North America, in the UK. UK dulce de leche is so incredibly cloyingly sweet. It kind of overtakes lots of other flavors. And when I started talking to my friend, Natalia, it was, let, let's look at one of these recipes. Let, let's take one of your classic Argentinian recipes and, uh, and make it here. You know, there's a couple of things I've had to change because I just couldn't get one of the ingredients. But what I did is I went online to this amazing website and bought a good supply of different dulce de leches. Now this one is one of the ones that they use, but they also use another one. So there's two different types that they use. They use this Repostero and Pastero. Now one is specifically designed for use in ice cream. It's got a very different flavor profile. Well not profile, it's just a very different strength of flavor. And then this one, which is a bit more, you know, in tune with putting on cookies and bread and all the other things that they, they use this for. So I've laid out these because this was a wonderful gift from my friend. These turned up the other day. So I'm going to open these up in another video because I think that's worthy of a whole video unto itself. So if you're interested in that, like and subscribe, follow along. And we're going to do this for lots of countries and lots of ice cream companies around the world in the near future. So let's just move these out of the way. Back to the ice cream. So I got the base recipe from uh, them and made a couple of adjustments to make it a bit easier for you guys to make in your ice cream machines at home because that's really what this is all about. So today we are going to make Jello Helados Argentinian Dulce de Leche Gelato. So there's no milk in this recipe. We're gonna start with our water, 471 grams of water, cup measurements in the description and on the screen as well. And in here we've got our skim milk powder, which is 60 grams. In this container, we have our 28 grams of whole milk powder. We have 60 grams of dextrose, powdered glucose, if you can't find dextrose. And we also have our stabilizer and emulsifier combination. We're gonna give that a quick stir because we're gonna drop in our 150 grams of 33% whipping cream. Finally, in goes our 126 grams of Havana Dolce de Leche and 90 grams of Vaclin Dolce de Leche. And now we're gonna get that on the hob and heat it up. Now I've used carrageenan, locust bean gum and guar gum in here along with sunflower lecithin for the emulsifier. Because of those ingredients, we're gonna to need to bring this up to 85 degrees centigrade and keep it there for a couple of minutes just to make sure it's fully hydrated. Once it's up to that temperature and really nicely emulsified, a really nice homogenized mix, we're gonna take it off the heat, put it in a container and get it in the fridge. Now the following day after chilling it overnight, you can leave it for about four hours if you want, 
take it out of the fridge, give it a nice good stir, pop it in your machine. Look at that churn, absolutely glorious. When it's ready, down to about minus 10, minus 12, take it out, put it in your ice cream containers, then in the fridge, then in the freezer. The ice cream's been in the freezer for 24 hours. I'm gonna take it out and get some scooped up into a bowl. The smell that comes out of this container is incredible. So let's see how well it scoops straight in. No major issues. Look how creamy that is. That is delicious. Can't wait to eat this. A nice little zoom in shot for you. You can see how creamy this actually is. It's really high quality ice cream. This much, much better than you're gonna ever buy in the stores, I promise you. So it's the next day. Scoop some of this up. As you can see, it scoops beautifully. It's straight out the freezer. It's got a, a enough invert sugar in there due to the process of making Dulce de Leche. So it scoops really nicely straight out the freezer, which means you don't have to wait for five or 10 minutes. You know how much I hate doing that. So let's just try some before we talk about it some more. Perfect texture, no discernible large ice crystals in there. Super, super smooth. Really, really nice Dulce de Leche flavor. Now, something to note about South American Dulce de Leche is it's nowhere near as sweet as the stuff you buy in the stores here. You know, you can buy Eagle brand Dulce de Leche in a can. Uh, uh, it's just not the same. It's way, way too sweet compared to this stuff. Now, these three, also got two more of those. They came from theargentino.com. And that's just a small business based in Patagonia in Argentina that ship out, I think all over the world. So, and shipping was really, really good. So I've got all these three really well priced, nicely shipped, nicely packed. Definitely recommend it if you wanna get something from that part of the world. But what we've got here is a slightly modified version of Jello Helado's recipe for Dulce de Leche. And this kind of recipe is designed for add-ins as well. So they're prime for things like nuts and chocolate add-ins. It's a very popular kind of ice cream base in Argentina. And for those people that are in Veracruz in Mexico, you are in for a treat if you head over and try this, which I strongly recommend you do. So I hope you enjoyed this quick visit to South America, the glorious Dulce de Leche here and turn into an absolute amazing gelato. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.